the man. I'm the king of the jungle. But the only way you're going to be able to truly reach your potential is if you conquer your inner alpha. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. This video is sponsored by me and my protein donut company and my weight loss support group. For more information, click the links below in my description and thank you all for the support. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We have a little special guest here. I offered my auntie hands to give my sister a break so she can fix breakfast. He's still trying to figure me out. So I've been here for um, oh, oh, oh. So I've been here for almost a week and I noticed as I air, he just cries a lot. I mean way too much. <laughs> and on the interwebs, the word beta and alpha male have been tossed around. And to the self-proclaimed alpha males of the internet, as a man, you're not supposed to cry. It's very beta. So I thought it was my auntie duties to listen to the men on the internet who obviously know a lot about being alpha male. That these men were the perfect people to teach my nephew how to be strong, how to be a man, how to be alpha male. It's all the rage right now. Oh no, no, it's okay. So we are gonna learn how to be alpha from a guy on the internet. He clearly knows everything about women, how to get that sweet, sweet, I mean, he's got a YouTube channel and everything. And not just anybody can get one of those and slap a title on themselves. So before we get started, let's define alpha male. I'm very curious as to what exactly is this alpha male that so many men are trying to attain uh, through tips on the internet. Qualities, self-confident, outgoing, and enterprising. The alpha male personality type goes with the Elias. Bad boy, what the hell is this picture? <laughs> he looks like a murderer. And alpha males are usually the men who need their men to be men, whatever that means. He is the macho guy who exudes confidence with a tad bit of aggression. Uh, sounds dangerous. Who is outgoing and demanding and definitely sexist. Well, okay, we've got our definite. Oh, no, 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 no. Alpha males don't cry. We're good. All right, well, so with that being said, let's check out seven primal behaviors all men Zaire, must embrace. And keep in mind, all these like self proclaimed alpha males seem to always relate themselves to kings of the jungle, lions, tigers, and bears. So I found all of these on alpha male websites or Instagram pages. Don't mistake my kindness for weakness. The beast in me is sleeping, not dead. Don't be afraid of being outnumbered. A lion walks alone while the sheep flock together. This one just says alpha male. Being an alpha isn't the cleanest job. Everyone wants to be alpha until it's time to do alpha male shit. And now you're probably asking, what is alpha male shit? Well, this video is going to teach all of us that because I'm still trying to figure it out. I mean, with all of these quotes and text over lion pictures, we would think there are some pretty rough, rugged, ready to hunt for their prey type of dudes. Right? Which probably explains as to why he's literally eating raw meat in the thumbnail and there's just a whole butt in the thumbnail. Because alpha males get but dang it, we should have dressed up as like cavemen today. Player, like, not not that it's fine. We can be Yoda, it fits, it makes sense, it's my channel, so it fits and it makes sense. Pause it. Alpha M. I am alpha.com. I am alpha. The more you say it, the more it's true. Especially if it's in your website. Survival of the fit. Wait, okay. This has absolutely nothing to do with the video, nothing to do with alpha, nothing to do with. Oh, you spit up. <laughs> Come here. We didn't even get to the first part of the video. This has nothing to do with the video, nothing to do with alpha males or anything, but we didn't even start yet. And I'm just getting straight nostril. I just hate seeing people's nostrils. It's a constant struggle. I'm short. All I do is see people's nostrils all day. All I have to do is look up and talk to someone. And I usually escape it when I log on to YouTube. And here he is just nostriling it up. This is a term originated from the Darwinian theory of evolution when trying to explain the idea of natural selection. The strong will survive and thrive, the weak will not. Ooh, Zaire. He says the weak will not survive right now. You're pretty small. And Butters, he is, you will not survive, sir, out in the wild. I'm sorry. You are beta, Butters. You are food for the alpha. Well, the other day I started thinking about this when I was looking at the situation with dudes, right? And it feels like we have evolved into a weaker, less masculine version 
of what dudes like used to be. You know, I keep hearing this a lot. I'm always curious as to what time period these people are talking about. Are you talking about the time where men wore heels and wigs upon their head? Or the 70s? Oh shit. Or the 70s when men wore bell bottom jeans and very colorful, flowy shirts. Or maybe the 1940s where it was perfectly acceptable to uh, beat women. People just turned a blind eye. So here's some advertisements from the 1940s and 1950s. It's nice to have a girl around the house to step on. If your husband ever finds out you're not store testing for fresher coffee, you get spanked. Domestic abuse during the 1950s was not considered a crime, but as a family matter, and law enforcement would not get involved. Since women were unable to defend themselves from abuse and assaults during the 1950s, the excuse that it was the woman's fault was an excuse that was popularly used. Whenever I see videos of people saying men aren't what they used to be, I'm always curious as to what exact time period they are talking about. You know that whole good old day speech? What do they mean? So let's see if he clarifies. And so I started really going down the rabbit hole of thinking, you know, what would it take? What do we need to do as men in order to thrive and survive? Okay, so no, he didn't clarify. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> All right, Zaire didn't like the information going on. He went back to mom, but we now have butters. There you go, you got the hat and everything. It's like Zaire never left. Okay, so no, he did not clarify, but I'm guessing since he's talking about the good old days and this is a primal video, I'm guessing the good old days means a uh, caveman day. When men went out with their spear and slayed. Uh, what animal? Uh, a saber tooth tiger. Ripped it apart with their bare hands and ate the meat. Raw, like in his thumbnail. Very funny to me because I see many, mostly men, I do see some women promote this primal type lifestyle. Today guys, what I wanna do is go over some primal behaviors that you need to embrace. Dudes, there are certain behaviors or instincts that are hardwired into our animalistic brains, right? Referencing our primal ancestors, saying alpha male this, alpha male that. And I always thought like alpha men were more rugged type men, you know, out in the wilderness, lifting tree trunks, chopping wood with their shirts off and their muscles. They hold axes. You don't even have to be super ripped, just hold an ax and have that manly man aura. Liver King doesn't wear shoes, has an epic beard, works out with chains and outside and bleeds while doing it, literally has a spear. Video on him coming soon. That's what I think of when people say alpha male. This guy is very clean, shaved. He has a more feminine type voice as well. Not saying it's bad. When I think of alpha male, I think of a lion. Some man that can just stand on the top of a hill with his spear and just let out some kind of battle cry. This man, he doesn't even look like he would want some dirt to touch his skin. I was just under the impression that alpha male meant rugged, a man's man, not afraid to do real man's work. I mean, this is a primal type video. Doesn't give me that alpha male, I'm going to go hunt for you while the woman tends the cave. He looks like he would take me out to a nice dinner and have someone else prepare the food. Very far away from a uh, primal land. I'm talking basic primal stuff here, gentlemen. Well, unfortunately, society and the media and people have been like, yo, don't be a dude. Stop being a dude. Stop being a man. So this could mean uh, one or two things. I see this being said a lot, like on Facebook from the older generation. And so they always say, or they constantly say that the media is turning our men gay. Just a quick Google search and there are a ton of posts about men not being real men anymore. Why are many men not manly anymore? Are men becoming less masculine? Why has masculinity in men declined? I see it quite a bit with Lil Nas, Lil Nas, whatever the hell his name is, gets brought up. Pretty much saying he's disrespecting masculinity. Images like this brainwashes children and turns them gay. This is why the generation is the way they are. So I'm not trying to get into this debate, feel free in the comment section, but I see those comments appear when the whole men aren't what they used to be comment comes up, I guess. Men are all gay now, according to people on Facebook. Or the media is turning our men into feminine little girls. They aren't doing this, or chopping wood, or running around filled shirtless with swords anymore. Why aren't they doing this? It's causing me bodily harm. There's no in between, that's usually what I see. The males today are either gay 
or feminine. And being gay or feminine is not alpha. I don't know if you guys have heard of the whole kitchen set debate, but on Facebook, they were going crazy. And I screenshot quite a bit. I'm making a whole video, but just real quick, there's a whole debate that if you get your son a kitchen set, he will either be gay or very feminine. And there's a lot of people saying they would never get their son a kitchen set because the, the kitchen is where the woman is supposed to be, not the man, because you're gonna be gay or you're gonna be a very feminine male, not alpha. Isn't cooking a good thing to have? And according to alpha male, uh ology, you should be independent. Are y'all telling me you will literally wait for a woman, a weak, feeble-minded woman to make you dinner? That's not being very independent, which means that's not being very alpha. In a primal setting, cooking would be very useful to survive. But I don't know which one he's talking about. This guy seems like he's like that Facebook crowd saying, we need to go back to the time where men were men. Instead be this, gentlemen, I'm saying stop being that and start being this. Yes, listen to this guy, not the media, not those guys over there, this guy. He can guide you with his nostril to the right side, the alpha side. Okay. So I just noticed we didn't even get to the tips yet. So can we just get to the tips? Which is a man, which is the first primal behavior you need to embrace again. Survival of the fittest. If you expect to thrive and survive in today's world, you cannot apologize for being a man. It's just a little vague, right? Because one, as you can see through this video, so many people have different definitions of what a man is supposed to be, what an alpha male is supposed to do, and how you are just supposed to uh, survive in this primal setting of being a man, a real man. And since everyone has different definitions of what a real man is and constantly say, we need to go back to when men were men. What if, just what if, stay with me now, someone's definition of what the prime specimen of a real man, an alpha man, was in the time period of the 1950s. We talked about that. And his wife didn't make him the perfect cup of coffee. How dare she? And he punches her in the face to show her it's a man's world and follows up with, I'm just being a man, baby. I don't have to say sorry. So very vague tip. So let's get to the number two. You think for a second, the king of the jungle, right? The big lion walking around with giant lion nuts, right? I told you they always compare themselves to a lion when I know his ass is going to Whole Foods. You think he's walking around being like, oh, sorry. I don't mean to be the king of the freaking jungle. No, he's a lion. They don't communicate like humans. He has clearly never watched at least one lion documentary on Discovery Channel because if he did, he would know. Female lions are the pride's primary hunters and leaders. They often work together to prey upon antelopes, zebras, wild beasts, and other large animals of the open grasslands. Many of these animals are faster than lions, so teamwork pays off. Female lions also raise their cubs communally. So they pretty much do everything while the man lion does what? Be lazy and let his dick breathe. <laughs> Shout out to the people I get offended by this. You're awesome. I just think it's always funny that they always use male lions as an example. Like they're very powerful animals, but in reality, the women do everything. Gentlemen, be the king of the jungle with your big lion cojones. They just use the male lions for their big lion cojones. So they can have children and take care of them with little to no help, by the way. Don't run away from competition. Do not be fearful of competition. In a world of everybody gets a trophy, I want you you to win. Competition is good. It's nothing to run from. And you've got to be willing to compete. So I was hoping that I could find something that I agree with when it comes to these alpha male type videos. And I agree with this one. I'm not someone who is part of that. Oh, if you participate, you get a trophy. Like if you come in last place, here's a trophy. Uh, congrats for getting last place. I'm not personally into participation trophies. I've gotten one before. Didn't feel good to get. Got last place. And they, they just kind of throw you a trophy. Like, here you go loser. Remember the time that you lost. If you ever expect to win at life, you ever expect to win at relationships or finances, it doesn't matter. Gentlemen, life is competitive. Everybody is competing for the same resources, but you've got to be willing to do the hard work. You've got to be willing to roll up your sleeves and fight for what you want. So I overall agree with this message. Not sure if he's implying that, you know, you got to like fight for the girl. Like you got to go through a whole mating dance like they do in the wild. I don't know what he means, but the overall message I do agree with. Competition in life is normal through your adolescence and definitely when you an adult. The third primal behavior that you need to embrace is actually mating. Okay, here we go. A 
AKA Spicy Senorita Acquisition. Okay, he referred to women as spicy senoritas. All right. Confidence, it boils down to confidence, gentlemen. You think the king of the jungle, right? Beasts of beasts is walking around the jungle being like, ooh, I don't know if that spicy senorita will like me. I think I'm a gentleman, whatever. The king of the jungle's like, yo mama, I'm the man. I'm the king of the jungle. I swear to God, if any dude comes up to me and says, what's up, senorita, for... And then he follows that up with, I'm the king of the jungle. I'm walking the whole ass opposite direction because you have mental issues that it is not my duty to fix. And if you're ready, well, let's kick it because I'm ready to kick it with you. Ladies, tell the men right now, is that how you want someone to approach you? This just sounds like that overbearing man that approaches women and the woman tries to get far away from them the moment they start talking about lion cojones. Which brings me to the fourth primal behavior that you need to embrace, and that is protect protect and provide. The number one thing that you can do to protect and provide for people around you that you love, including yourself, is to be financially stable. I agree, financial stability is very important, but the more videos I watch, not this guy, I've been watching other alpha male videos, they don't believe that women should be financially stable. Only men, this guy didn't say it, but a lot of the other alpha males that I see say that the women need to only take care of the kids, don't worry about a job, the men are the ones that need to be financially stable. You know, I did talk about female happiness coming from women having a ton of sex with as much as they can with as few men as possible, but also comes from making cookies, sandwiches, and babies. Uh, I think this is a great thing. Women don't have to do this, but it's a pretty good life. I think women have been lied to about, you know, uh, Michael Foster again was talking to you about that, how the patriarchy is inevitable. You know, you can go work at a job uh, somewhere, some giant corporation or something, and they don't care about you. And they might fire you, and they won't, they won't think two seconds about you. Maybe someone you knew there that fired you will care about you, and that's it. And that goes away. This should not be missed. If, you know, women that delay motherhood, like that article was talking about, delay, 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 you could be missing out on children that, that would never exist. So I am doing absolutely everything wrong. I bought my own car, I bought my own house this year, and I'm completely financially independent. So a lot of these alpha males, I am probably last on their list. God damn it, how can I fix this? Please teach me man with microphone who knows about women's happiness because I am not doing the female thing right. And honey, does it feel so good. But something else that I've noticed is that a lot of the men that sprouts, you know, like shout out, I'm an alpha male. Some of like the smaller ones, because I used to go to the gym with them and I see what they're talking about online. They live at home with their mama and their mama be taking care of them. And on top of all of that, they don't even pay rent. <laughs> I actually have someone like that in my family who was very much like this. If you watch my videos regularly, then you know who I'm talking about. It's just funny to read their posts on being pro man and don't be gay and women should do this type tweets when I know them in real life and they don't even fall into their definition of what a real man is. So if that is what you determine what alpha is, is having um, a lot of money to be able to, first of all, take care of yourself, take care of your woman and take care of your kids. Many men that are saying alpha this, alpha that can't even take care of themselves. They mama is alpha male. Once again, brings us back to the whole lion thing where the woman is doing everything and the male lions are just doing this with their <laughs> If we're gonna relate things to nature, I will do that for you. So remember men, you gotta be financially independent. Got laid off, wasn't your fault? Lost your job because of COVID? Maybe you had a very unfortunate accident happen and you can't work. Beta. And investing it. Guys, the new year is almost here and now is the time for you to finally take control of your financial destiny and future. And the way that I want you to do that is hitting that link down below and checking out today's video sponsor, Wealthfront. I knew his butt cheeks were gonna just sell me something. Well, not me, but any aspiring alpha male that wants to be alpha. Okay, y'all, I just looked him up. He's a salesman. Along the journey, I've started and built multiple seven and eight figure businesses from a hair salon in my hometown to a revolutionary skincare subscription service. He's a businessman. He finds niches. He sells his salesman speech and then he gets people to buy said product. Mostly men who don't have the best conversational skills, but watched a lot of anime and really want to look like Goku. But instead, they're the guy from Death Note, L, who eats way too much much candy, sits on furniture like this, and doesn't wear shoes. Socially awkward. So then they look up how 
to be a man, and this guy shows up. Big lion walking around with giant lion nuts. Talking about big cojones and eating raw meat, and they are sold. He's a very good businessman to naive people. He definitely knows how to market, and he goes on with this sales pitch for whatever he's selling in his video, and relates it to hunting like our ancestors. Right, he was going out on the hunt on the prowl with a spear to go stab like, like a gazelle, right? And says, don't you wanna be a true alpha man? All you gotta do is buy this product, and you are on the road. <laughs> to Alpha. Good job, you caught your first gazelle from the comfort of your home. He drags the gazelle back to the shelter. And then he ends with our final primal tip of nutrition. You need to start eating more primally. Let me guess, you're gonna suggest the caveman diet. Caveman diet, AKA the paleo diet, is basically saying that we will be healthier if we start reverting back to a diet like our ancestors. So I don't have anything against the caveman diet. A lot of people do it. People uh, find great success with it, some people don't. It just depends on what type of diet that you can stay actually consistent with. But I do always laugh when a lot of these people say, you gotta eat like a caveman, you gotta eat like our ancestors. They were so healthy. They were in top tier shape. They fought off madness with their fists. Just, just one fist. Didn't even have to use their spear. But in reality, a lot of our primal ancestors freaking dropped dead before the age of 35, if they were lucky. And they did some weird shit back then. I'm not trying to go back to that. I understand trying to eat more natural food. But the other funny thing is, is that they very much push meat. Lots of meat, tons of meat, very low carb. And gathering, lots of meats, lots of protein, low on carb. But our ancestors, according to a study by the British Journal of Nutrition, in relation to total calories, consumed, their diets were made up of approximately 25 to 29% protein, 30 to 39% fat, and 39 to 40% carbohydrate. So it wasn't low carb. Back in the old like sexy caveman days, it was all these like sexy cave people. He's getting everything wrong. Cave people were not sexy. They were nasty. Supposedly, cavemen in quotes took care of their teeth and practiced some sort of hygiene. <laughs> Whatever that means, I know their hygiene is not up to modern standards and they smelled like ass. Have you guys played Far Cry Primal? Have you seen the characters in there? Gross. Okay, let's just review that. He cut a rat, put its blood in a bowl. Cut your hand, licked it, put your blood in a bowl. Then licked the bowl. Then made you drink it. There's got to be some type of truth to this. I know they were doing some weird shit back in the day. You gotta stop doing stupid stuff. Okay, that was super vague. You gotta stop drinking and driving. All right, these are not alpha tips. This is just a basic law that everyone should follow so that you don't kill anyone. You gotta stop hanging out with losers. I mean, if we take away anything from this video, it's just do not hang out with losers. Instead, hang out with spicy senoritas. We also has a video of how you can become alpha in just 30 days a month. So if you wanna be alpha, you need to be spiritual. Truly reach alpha status, you need to be spiritual. Now you also need to make sure that the world sees you as alpha. For the next 30 days, you are going to let the world know how alpha you are. Shout it from the mountaintop. Each day, every single day, I want you to make it a point to talk to and engage a stranger. You are going to make it a point to talk to somebody that you don't know. Go up and you say hello, but you're not getting off that easy. You've got to engage them and ask a second follow-up question. How is their day going? All right, some of the guys that have came up to me in the gym or grocery stores have definitely watched this guy because they will not leave. Okay, so I get it now. It's engraved in the book of alpha. They have to do it. If you guys are wondering why I'm sitting weird, Butters is like right beneath my feet. So I'm just kind of man spreading. So 30 days, y'all, women are going to be all over you. Especially if you do this in the gym while they're working out or if that the grocery store rushing to try to get some food, they're going to absolutely love it. You won't be overstaying your welcome at all. They will definitely not find you creepy because, you know, men that watch this channel are not socially awkward already. And you're gonna leave out of that conversation and she's gonna be like, wow, he really knows how to alpha male. It's guaranteed. So we also have the video that says eight reasons why people think you're weird. And one of the reasons are not that you watch this channel or relate yourself to being a lion or constantly say that you're alpha male or eat raw meat. Those were none of the reasons. But basically in the video, he reminds his male watchers that, you know, take a shower, that don't smell bad. If you got bad BO gentlemen, take 
a fucking shower. And then he proceeds to sell the watcher a magical liquid. What I'd like to do real quick, guys, if you are somebody that wants to upgrade and elevate, that if that watcher purchases it, will bring him closer to that alpha male status. It will be unlocked. Just like in the video games that I know these watchers play about 23 hours a day. Which is why I developed Rebel. And you can't forget the powder for your big lion cojones. Musky nuts, gentlemen, is a deal breaker. Which I do agree, musty balls are very unpleasant and weird. But you know what else is unpleasant and weird? A musty butt crack. Also, right, little bit up the booty. It's not just my opinion that this is the best. Yes, it is. It's literally your product. Of course you're gonna say it's the best. He's a salesman. Everybody that tries it agrees. Liar. Jay says it's okay, but there's better products out there. The next reason why people think you're a little teeny weeny bit weird is that you're a close talker. It's about personal space. Wait, stop. Okay, this is what I mean by everyone has certain definitions on what a real man is, certain uh, techniques on what a, uh, what a true alpha male is and what you should be doing as that true alpha male. I found this clip of a guy instructing men on how to talk to women, where he literally says to get close. With that feeling in your body. It starts with that natural desire. It starts with, with feeling that coming back from her and feeling that kind of magnetic attraction that you might have for the other person. So there's no secret, there's so ma no magic to it. The first thing you want to do, you just want to get closer. The more exciting it feels, the better. And the closer you get, the more those feelings start to spike. So here is a self-proclaimed alpha male holding a full-on seminar full of men at the edge of their seats, waiting for information on how to get that sweet, sweet succulent. <laughs> He's got a microphone and everything, which means he obviously knows what he's talking about. Because it gives you an easy excuse to get closer to someone. But in reality, he is an awkward guy who hired this chick and paid her to stand there next to him and continue to be awkward, while a room full of awkward guys can think he knows what he's talking about because he has a microphone and a girl standing next to him that he paid. They can't hear you, that just means get closer. It doesn't mean yell. And as you get closer to someone, those natural feelings come out more. <laughs> She is thinking what everyone else is thinking. This dude is a socially awkward weirdo and has no business instructing other socially awkward men on how to approach a woman. It's a scam. These alpha TikToker, Instagram, or YouTuber men are all scamming you. And it gets way worse than the man that we focused on today. But this guy, yeah, he's extremely cringe. I haven't seen all of what this guy stands for, but I tried to do more than just watch a quick video and say, what a misogynistic white privileged cisgender male. Do I think he's a lady killer and getting that sweet, sweet every single night? Well, he's married, so he could be. Do I find him socially awkward? Definitely. If he came up to me and did this, I'm the man, I'm the king of the jungle. Would I just start ripping my bra off? No. When the word alpha male gets said, do I think of him? Not at all. Do I think he's taking advantage of young, awkward men who don't have social skills to buy his multiple products and masking it with unlock the alpha male stage when in reality, all he's teaching them is mostly to work out, eat better, don't let your breath smell, and wash your ball. Yeah, that's pretty much what I think is going on here. Found a niche and he's going with it. I don't think he's as bad as the club that holds conventions in Texas and Florida called the 21 Convention, where manly men, like the one you just saw, instruct men on how to be real men again, like back in the day. They also have one called the 22 Convention, which is basically a convention for women ran by mostly men. There's two women in this picture here, and one looks like she's being held hostage and not too thrilled to be there. The dude I had earlier talking about women should strive to have unlimited babies and make cookies instead of seeking careers is a very popular speaker at the convention for women ran by real men, and he was talking about one of his idols whose wife doesn't want more babies, but her husband does. And in this group, what the husband says goes, so she's just having more. That's what Michael's wife is doing, Michael Foster. He wants a lot of kids, and she's going along with it, but he's the one leading that relationship. 
And then she's his grape and he's a squeezer into a prune, which is pretty funny. He's got a make woman great again hat. Very creative. Surprised he thought of that on his own. And you know what? Before we end this video, I just have to talk about his looks. Why do all the frumpy festers, the clownery Corys, talk about make woman great again? Can you fix your dry, boring personality? Get some oomph in your speech. God, I thought this was an alpha male convention. Why are you talking so quiet? But that's all for another video that I will cover it when I get back home from Texas. So thank you everyone for joining me, Butters, my nephew Zaire. Should hit the subscribe button and remember, wash your balls. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. It's a big lion walking around with giant lion nuts. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on.